Hello friends, Fox Vandy here. This is my friend Deborah. She has bought a piece of property up in the mountains just below the Grand Canyon and she's building a beautiful permaculture village. I met her about five and a half years ago after an RTR in Quartzsite. We've been friends ever since. So I've made plans to go up to the mountains for a few months in the summer. I decided I wanted to go see her first, so I took a trip up to Muatawa, is the name of her village, and she has been there for about three years now. This is the third trip I've made up there, so I got really bad altitude sickness. So Ada Z Dan accompanied me to get there, and he wanted to see the village and see things up there. And his wife couldn't go. She was not feeling well, so he had to leave her behind. So he stayed one night with me in this first campsite where I, we stayed. And he had to go the next day, but I got to see a little bit of the village. And it was a beautiful spot. I did move later after he left. So even though I stayed for less than a week, I could, did get a chance to go and check out her property and all, all the additions he, she's made since I was last there. So the first picture you will see is a picture of her garden shed. So we drove around the property on our little pullars and then took a lot of snapshots and a little bit of video. So the things you're going to see first is the property past the garden shed. There had been a be uh, bark beetle infestation was killing a lot of her pine trees. So you see the stacks of wood under tarps. She can use this wood for mulch, for firewood, compost, and just bark chips to cover areas. When she loses a tree, she can plant new ones to get it started. This is the main complex where people can gather when they visit or workers there. Can use the fire pit, the picnic table, the shade shelter, and the main building, which has a kitchen and places to do things and just uh, shelter from the weather. These are some of the attachments she has for the back of her Polaris. She has pretty good water storage on her property with a couple large tanks. She has smaller tanks on a trailer and she goes to town in her pickup and fills those and transfers them to the larger tanks from the well water in town. So she has added about five uh, good sized uh, sheds or storage rooms onto her property. When she got there, she had two profit, two buildings. The main building I showed you, and the second one is a brown building that was on the property. The other one she has added in the last three years. This building here is the bunkhouse. She has it reserved for workers that come up with no place to stay or volunteers. Is complete with a kitchen setup, a refrigerator, bunk beds, and a couch, and a little table. It has two lofts. She can always add more beds. None of the buildings are wired or plumbed for water and power, but she does have solar hookup to several of the buildings for electricity for necessities. So this is the garden shed. So inside here, she stores all the things she needs for her gardening, except the seedlings and things like that. Uh, garden tools and supplies, fertilizer, and things like that. So she has a water catchment system on the roofs of most of these buildings. You can see here she has storage room, batteries, perhaps solar into here. 
So when she needs power, she has a very good solar setup with MPPT chargers and pure sine wave inverters and several batteries. Outside this shed is where she starts her smaller plants and trees in buckets and bins, builds up the soil over here, and then she has water storage here right near the garden area. And she uses these five gallon buckets because she doesn't have a water system that hook up to the water tank. So she fills the tank, five gallon buckets, and hand waters all these plants. Amazing. So much work. But that's the way she wants it done. Then she can add the think nutrients and what have you to the water as she waters the plants. So literally nothing goes to waste on this property. She takes the dead trees and cuts whatever she can get to make logs out of it and then uses the scrappy bark and stuff for composting and for the mulching for the soil. So that building off to the right is another storage unit, but this brown one that's coming up is one of the original buildings that was on the property when she bought it. So that is a beautiful wood stove, but it's too big for this small cabin, so she's going to take it out and use it somewhere else. This area would be great for a pro property manager if she needed to have a place of course one to stay. So this is your animal pen. Mike, you're on camera, is that okay? Mike is Deborah's handyman. He does everything, a little bit of everything. He's a worker. This is the feed barn made with cattle, uh, pallets and cattle panels. Wow. We did have just the sunscreen on it for the summer last year, and then for the winter we put the plastic over and covered close this in, but so far it's been okay. I think it's so, too hot question, do you use natural stuff for the feed? Uh, it's as natural as I can get. Okay. Pour it out here, yeah. Yep. Okay. There's your chicken barn. Hormones or anything like that. The rooster's happy this morning. This is all water, right? All these buckets? Yeah, these right here are, but feeds mixed in here. And okay. 
<laughs> I hear the goats. So what this one's name? This one's Bandit. The girl I got it from, she had already named him. <laughs> and uh, thought he looked like he's wearing a, a bandana or something. Yeah. 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 And that's Romeo with the blue eyes. Let me get a picture of Coco. That's hey, Coco. Coco. The baby. These are all uh, male, right? Yep. They, you call them bucks? <laughs> yeah. They're like deer. Yes. Actually, goats are a relative of deers. Are they? Yeah. Okay. That's where they get their bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay. And the duck and the uh, duck, the buck and the doe. Look, he wants to get up. <laughs> Hello. You want to say hi to everybody? He's shaking his head no. <laughs> How cute. And that's Dolly. She's two months old. All the babies are two around two months old. And that's Frosty. And they're does. Hello, together. baby. Hi. <laughs> camera camera. He's want to lick the camera. <laughs> Look at his eyes. It's pretty. It's her. Girls. Yeah, her eyes are pretty. Yep, they're both blue. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at this. Deborah, the uh, wheelbarrows to the greenhouse? Or the other one? Yes, there? please. The black one, yeah. Okay. And then, uh, do you mind if I... Take a break. Go for it. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it greatly. And this is Smokey. Hi, Smokey. Hello. Hi, Smokey. Look how it's pretty. Yes. Well, for your Hello. Cameras. There you go. You're on candid camera. <laughs> Look at him. It's too good. Yes, right. he is. And so then I want to extend this foyer area down here. Further down this way, okay. Yeah, and then I'm going to build another one of those feed bar things and put solar on it, and that way I okay. can uh, milk goats, deer right. hooves, stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, just fence it like a pasture, kind of, small yeah, so pasture. Yeah, so can come out here and right. play and have some, That's a good idea, know, yeah. Um, water and the flow of the animals. No, my animals have pushed back the animals. Yeah. animals. Um, but yeah, so even when I've had floods, it goes around. It goes in the roads. And it, yeah. just, it goes around the garden. It goes so, around the RV. You know, so, so that the land itself it directs how you do things. Yes, it talks to me. Right. Basically is what I say. <laughs> yeah. This is my little... Oh, I just recently bought this from um, Ruth and Jim. Oh, really? Oh, we need to shut it. Oh, oh a feed, this. feed trailer. Yeah, yeah, so I they needed some money, and I needed a storage. Yeah, right. So. Construction shed. Okay. Yeah, because all the like construction materials were getting shoved in. In my tool shed, and I couldn't get to my tool shed. Yeah. So I was like, okay, then I'm getting a construction shed. <laughs> and that's where we did the construction first when we got oh, Okay. There. Yeah, I remember I that. I don't know how you keep track of all your keys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They got numbers on them, and the locks have numbers. Oh, okay. I out. see. Yeah. Here we go. So this is a humanure. <laughs> right. And you know, it's beginning. It's not the system's not perfect yet. And I don't cover it with straw because it's out here. It doesn't stink. I don't right. I don't dump them until they're five to seven months. Okay. And that's what these different piles are. It's so, a lot, but you know, 
until I get a better system, it's a start, you yeah. know, you got to right. start somewhere and I've got so much going on that, yeah. you know, I've got a lot of different systems in place. None are perfect, but it's, you're a work in progress. <laughs> That's right. It's always a work in progress. Exactly. So these have, these are eight months old, so they're ready to dump. You can see how it's composted yeah. down. Yeah. And then the toilet paper is what takes so darn long to compost. Yeah, and I would no, not. I quit putting the toilet paper in there. But, yeah. But the soil was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. We used we had two bins. We used it for the holes we dug for the. Paper. How long does it have to be composted before it's good for manure or whatever? Some people say a year. I did two years. Two years. Okay. You know. Yeah. Um, This is a community shower with men's and women's rooms on each side and then a shower center in the middle for both. Her kitties are in there keeping them safe. Nobody's working there right now, so she has this space for the cats keeping them safe from the wildlife, wild animals. This, is a, this here is her outdoor shower. In the summer, she doesn't have to heat the water, so it's perfect in the summer. So my friend Deborah bought this property a little over three years ago. The first time when we, I went there was nothing but a lot of trees with dead down trees from uh, the bark beetles damage and over the time even more trees have gone down she has utilized this property and done one step at a time with aid help and volunteers she's done a great job sure her water system need has a lot of work to go because she's still using buckets so if she could get that piped into the garden areas and some of their trees and planting would be great into the buildings would be even better. But she's great, got great solar system set up and water storage. So I think she's done a great job. I'm really proud of her. I couldn't do this. I could not live this way. It's a lot more work than anybody could have ever imagined. And just living off grid is hard enough. But doing all this work, as a one woman with a little bit of help, she's made great success, great job. So the village is called Mui Tala, and it's up in the mountains near the Grand Canyon, and she's still taking on help. Uh, anybody wants to volunteer, she has a website. It's called Mui Tala permaculture village. I will try to find the link to put it in the description below. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate your support. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit the thumbs up button and make a comment. And I know it will encourage her when she reads the comments from this video. Thank you all for coming. You have a great day. And I hope uh, got you got some benefit from this thank you and share your love to people all around you everybody needs to be loved